Hey guys, so today's video is going to be how to um, try to spice up your look when you've had a long day or you've been working out. Sorry if the lighting's like making me look orange or like red or something because there's like a light right there and I'm sitting in front of a window. Um, anyways, so um, today I went to a tennis camp so I just had mascara on and eyeliner and concealer and powder just so... I didn't look completely like dead from just waking up because it was early in the morning. So um, this is kind of when you're having friends over or you're going somewhere um, during the day. Sorry, I keep like moving my hands. Um, and I have two other things to show you as well. Um, but like if you just want to kind of make your look look more, I don't know, refreshed. Um, so I keep acting really weird in my videos and I told you guys that I act, I guess like, better um like not better but like more myself because I kind of feel like when I turn on the camera I have to act like really weird I don't know it's kind of weird but um so I make more like me in my videos so I hope you guys don't mind me like acting all weird because whenever I like okay when I turn on the camera I feel like I should be more like assertive or something just because like I'm making videos and I'm describing products so I should be like selling them or whatever not selling them but like telling you the exact like reviews and I'm not like using kitty words to do it I don't know it's kind of weird anyways so today I went to um, this discount store and I got Betsy Johnson socks because I mean that's not like exciting like Betsy Johnson socks like I don't know, I just saw like the big red, or not red, um, big pink box that they were in, and I was like, what's that? So I walked up, I was like, oh, Betsy Johnson. And so they were like $11.95. So this came with six pairs, and I'll take the little slip off. Um, they had these pairs, which are really cute. I just want to talk about these because I just got them, and they are so comfortable. I tried on a pair without like ripping this off because I wasn't sure if they were going to fit me. So I put them on because they say they fit 5 to 10 and I was like, that's not possible. You can't like have like, it's either like one size fits all or a size. But um, 5 to 10, so I was making sure they fit. So, and they're really comfortable. So it has like this floral pair, a yellow striped pair, kind of like plaidish pair. Um, plain white with like a gray tip and heel. And then a gray with a pink tip and heel. And then, oh my gosh, the cutest polka dots ever. So I'm going to wear some shoes where I can, like, show these babies off because they're so cute. I love these socks. And I always wear mixed matched socks. Like, none of my socks um, pair. Like, they're not, like, the same. If you hear a noise, my sister's outside and she has friends Hi. over. And um, there's, like, a window right there. Like, I'm sitting in my mom's room, by the way. And so, sorry, I have to, like, sit up. Um, there's a window right there, and they're trying to, like, look in and bother me. And then I also painted my nails, oh my gosh, with that new nail polish that has, like, the different colors. I don't know if you can tell because the lighting is, like, really weird in here. But it was the, um, Wet n Wild Fast Dry one, the Grey's Anatomy, and I love this. You need two, just two coats to have it, like, so amazing. One coat was fine, but I wanted it to be, like, bam, like, this is this nail polish. Um, so yeah really 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 pretty and this was in Grey's Anatomy so if you're looking for a really cool nail polish for any time any season this is like the best one because I love this and it's amazing so I got that so anyways I'll start out with what I'm first wearing my pigment concealer and my NYC powder which again I hit pan on I think I mentioned that in a video I'm not sure um but so I hit pan so I'm trying to like I bought a new powder but I keep this in my purse like just to freshen up so I had this anyways, so I freshened up with this as well, but I had this on before. And this is my new um, moisturizer I've been using. This has SPF 15, so it is summer, so you need SPF on your face, obviously. And I don't want to put on makeup and then put on sunscreen. Like, that's just, like, disgusting to me. I hate, like, caking on a bunch of stuff on my face because it's just so gross. Like, especially when I get hot, I don't want to be like, ew, there's, like, stuff all over my face and I'm sweating and disgusting. So, um... I've been, ugh, I'm like choking on my own spit. Neutrogena Advanced Solutions, I've been using this. It's oil-free and it has SPF 15. I was like, oil-free. Um, but it is a face lotion and I don't know if they 
myself with anymore, but just trying to find any um, face lotion or any moisturizer. I keep like, it's like almost out. I have four tubes of this, so um, I don't think they sell this, but find any moisturizer that has SPF in it and just put that on for a base of your makeup or to mix with your foundation. I mix this with my foundation, I'll show you the consistency, and it kind of makes it as a tinted moisturizer because it's just easier just to mix this with, oops, your foundation and not have to spend money on a concealer, just use, or concealer, um, tinted moisturizer, just use what you have. So this is what it looks like. It's not thick and it's not liquidy. I'll show you like that. It rubs in really good and it's super moisturizing and it's got kind of a cooling feeling at first. So yeah, I had that on. Didn't push up with that. I also contoured with the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And I also use this as the blush. Like that. And I just contoured like all my cheekbones, like right there. And I've been trying to find a different position to put my blush on because I feel like it's like focused right here and that's like really unnatural. So I've been trying to find like play with areas on my face that I can put blush to make it look really well and also stand out. So I really like this. So I used that or I had that on and then I used this as a highlighter um, in the morning just to give my face a little bit of glow and I am going to be out I was outside. This was the last day. So just to kind of give you like a sheen. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like right there. Kind of mixed with my blush as well. Um, I'll show you. That's what that looks like. And it's like a white kind of shimmery. When you blend it, it's kind of a pinky toned one. So it's not like the white um, highlighters that you usually see. So I really like this. And this is the um, Florence Beauty Not So Nude. So I use that in the morning. I haven't reapplied this or this all day. So I'll show you what I freshened up with. So I was just using the one by one Volume Express Mascara, which I did freshen up. I put some more, um, I guess I kind of layered. Um, I put this on over as well, and this is in very black. Sorry if you just heard a noise. My sister just turned on the hose because she's um, playing with water balloons outside. So um, that's what that looks like. And I this is a rubber um, applicator. I don't really like reapplying mascara with rubber applicators because I feel like they're really weird. Oh, I'll I'll do my hair as well. Um, and I also have the NYC waterproof liner, which is almost super tiny. Um, wait. Yeah, this is waterproof eyeliner pencil in black. I love black eyeliner. It's like my favorite. And so I put on my waterline. That's the only eyeliner I really put on my waterline besides brown. So brown and black mainly. And this is where I freshen up. So I came home, didn't get in the shower. I had my hair straightened and I had it in one of those, um, I'll show you, like the side ponytails like that. Um, and it was flat ironed because my hair is really curly, and I don't like putting my um, my heat. I don't like putting heat on my hair during the summer because I just think it's really gross. But just to throw it back and for it, because like when it's really curly, it's really frizzy and it gets in my face and in my lip gloss, and it's just really gross. So I flat ironed it just to put my um, ponytail, and I did that twice um, yesterday and today. So not too bad. So I actually took it out and I just brushed out my hair like that's it. And it did kind of get curly from the heat and be it being humid. So it's kind of curly. I kind of like it. It's just a little tiny bit of waves. Um, so all I did was brush it. So if you're just refreshing up and you're already flying around your hair, just brush through it. Make it look a little bit nice. Maybe put some shine spray in your hair and you'll look like you just did your hair. And then I didn't want to put a lip um, uh, lipstick on. Because I didn't think that would stay as well. So I put on my Steel Lip Rouge. And I just found out they do not sell these anymore. This was a limited edition for the only one that I have. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I'll do a giveaway with that with um, the set. I'm really not sure. I would have to, like, I kind of want more subscribers to do that. Because I don't want to, like, do a giveaway and I only have, like, 30 subscribers. Like, that's kind of pointless. Um... But for the people who do watch me, thank you for watching me. Um, I, I'm, I'll get into that later. But there has been some issues just with me making videos because I'm not getting very many subscribers. Not that I'm complaining or anything, because I don't really mind. I want to gradually get more 
because I want to be like, hey, subscribe. Like, press that button up there and subscribe. Like, there's just, like, been some issues. Like, my sister's like, nobody watches your videos. Like, why do you make videos? Which is was kind of rude. And I've had some other people tell me that. So, I'm just trying to get the swing of things. So, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a giveaway. So, if you want it, comment below. I'm not sure if I will. But, yeah, this came in my little playset. And it was the Steel Lip Rouge, and it's a liquid lip stain, so I thought, just to put a lip stain on, it's going to stay on my lips. And plus, I put a really sticky, well, not really sticky, but a sticky lip gloss over, so they're both going to stay on pretty well. So this was the, um, like, hot pink one, and I was into colors today, so I don't know if you'll be able to see that just because of lighting. Yeah, you can see it. And so I just put that all over my lips, and kind of, I don't really have, like, the dip in my lips. Like, I don't have, like, the points I guess um I just kind of have a straight lip so when I use a lip stain I kind of like to draw them on like not extremely huge but just a little bit as you guys can see so really really pretty lip stain I love it and then I put the MAC um what is this I don't know what gloss this is MAC I don't know, some kind of, oh, plush glass, and this also kind of plumps your lips, and it's in Bountiful, so I also put that on, it was a light pink gloss, kind of sheer as well, and it does have sparkle, so it really brightens up your look, and then I apply with a fluffy brush lightly, I didn't want to put too much color on my face, because I had like kind of a muted outfit, and it's the Stila Eyeshadow in Charm, so I just put that on, it's like a light lavender purple, really pretty. And then just to put, um, I keep like stuttering on my words, just to put a little bit of flush under my cheeks. <clears throat> this kind of sweated off during tennis, and I was going to wash my face and remove all my makeup, but I was just like, people are coming over pretty fast, so not my friends, my sister's friends, but I just decided to freshen up because I didn't want to look completely dead because I was really tired. So I just applied the MAC um sheer tone blush in pink swoon which you guys can see that um it's like a light sheer tone pink so it's not going to be too harsh really simple so just to freshen up so that is that um i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below with any requests i've been trying to make a lot of videos but i want to be like making a ton of videos for like nothing so yeah, I've been trying to get in the swing of things, so, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video, and, yeah, any requests you would like to see, I do have tutorials coming up, um, so if you want, like, a really quick summer tutorial, I will be happy to do that, so, yeah, I'm really excited, if you guys like this nail polish, I might do a giveaway, also, go out and buy this, and give this away because this is such a pretty color. Like, I just love it. So, yeah. That and maybe the steel kit. I'm not sure. And, yeah. I will talk to you later. Um, any video requests. I've said the third time this video. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to film more videos outside. This is, like, tar tar bleh, bleh, turned into um, a vlog. Sadly, and my videos are always so long. I try to cut, like, certain parts out just so it's, like, a little bit shorter. But it never works out because most of the things I say are important. So, well, I think they're important. Are important. So, I'm trying to film more outside. Um, some with my sister, I'm not sure. Um, I have to ask her. Um, some people ask me if I can do more videos with my sister, but she really crappy. So... Like, all the time. Not, like, all the time, but she's really crabby a lot. And so, she doesn't really want to get on camera and talk. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Fourth time I probably said that. And there's a blue jay up there. Oh, What's he doing? Oh, he flew away. Um, so, yeah. I'm sorry. This video is so long. I'm going to try to keep my videos a little bit shorter. And I will talk to you later. Bye.